So today I'm gonna to take you along on how I do my everyday makeup. I've actually stopped wearing heavy foundation. I personally like to use a tinted moisturizer. And then I use a setting powder around my eyes and then just do a very light brown around the crease and then fill in with a white eyeshadow. I do pluck my eyebrows fairly thin and then I take an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow gel and then I just shape them really nicely. I do also tweeze in between my eyebrows to kind of separate them just a little bit, uh, just because it's an old trick that old Hollywood stars used to use. So after I'm done with my eyebrows and my eyeshadow, I'll go in with Sephora liquid eyeliner and then underneath I will take a little bit of concealer and sharpen it up. And then I do have my own mascara and lipstick line that I use in this video. This is actually by far my favorite mascara. It goes on incredibly easily. It doesn't clump up and honestly, it does volumize the lashes quite a bit. Now, I do like to use a darker lip liner because I feel like it defines the lips a little bit more, especially when you put like a bright red lipstick on. Uh, so it definitely adds depth to the lips. And then I take uh, Benefit Cosmetics uh, bronzer and then I put it around my cheeks uh, and then above my forehead, under my nose. I do like to use whatever blush I have currently in front of me and I put it on my cheekbones and then just a little bit around my eye. So I actually use one of Marilyn Monroe's tricks here for the eyes. As you can see, I will put a white liner on my waterline and then in between the bottom liner and the top liner. People in the 1950s, 60s would create this um, bottom, like kind of light brown, dark brown lash line to give the illusion that your eyelashes or your eyeliner is giving off a shadow. I do also like to put it on like the white liner underneath the liner. I feel like it really opens up the eyes. And then basically after this, I'll just kind of like go over with a highlighter or a shimmer on my eyebrow bone, my eyelid, my cheekbones, uh, my cupid's bow, basically all over. And I know this one might be a little funny, but actually after I'm done putting the highlighter on, I'll usually put a little bit of Vaseline over top of it uh, just to kind of give it that extra glowy effect. After that, I'll put on a bright red lipstick over top of the liner. I actually use multiple different shades of red on my lips, as you'll be able to tell in this video. I use a brown lip liner, a very bright red lipstick, and then when I'm done with that, I will put on kind of more of an orangey, bright red lipstick on the inner part, and then I'll blend it out with my finger. And that's what I'll use to create the depth in my lips. In my personal opinion, I think it looks really, really good, and considering I've had a lot of people asking me how I do this, this is pretty much how I do it. And then I'll go in with the Urban Decay setting spray and just kind of set my face. And then I'll start to take my hairpins out so that I can back comb it and mold it. I'll always leave my bangs like clipped up so it doesn't get in the way when I'm molding the rest of my hair. Once I take all the pins out of my hair, I'll start back combing. I am doing more of a 1960s look today. So the hair is going to be a little bit bigger than normal, but basically just take all that hair and back comb as much as you can. Now this is really easy. You're just going to take the hair and lightly brush over to where you want the hair to go. So I'm trying to bring it all over to one side to give it this very space age look. And then I just take my hairspray and spray it on the hair and then I'll back comb the bangs. And this is super easy. I just brush it forward and then I flick my hair back, break it up into pieces and there you go. There is how I do my hair. Keep in mind, I did fix my hair later on. I didn't realize uh, how messy it was in the back at first, but this is pretty much how I did this look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm really happy I filmed this considering how many people were truly interested uh, in a tutorial for it. Uh, not much going on, but anyways, I hope this helped you in some sort of way. Way. I will see you guys later and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm still figuring out how to use YouTube, so if there's anything you'd like to see, please voice your opinion and let me know. Anyways, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for joining in. I will see you guys later and have a good day.